If you are not offering some kind of downsell to your clients, whether it's like a paper booked appointment if you're doing SMMA or maybe go high level SaaS as a downsell or some kind of web design or hosting, then you are missing out on so much reoccurring revenue that it's actually scary. I'm saying this because a couple years ago when I used to offer just SMMA and that was my bread and butter, I didn't want to offer anything else, then I literally missed out on thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of reoccurring monthly revenue because I didn't understand this concept. So let's dive in. Something that doesn't get talked about in the agency space, it seems like is client churn. Look, the hardest part about clients is getting the clients and getting them on board. So if you can hold a client from three months to six months or to a year, then that is infinitely more valuable than you just spending all of your time on doing outreach and just getting clients and losing clients, getting clients and losing clients. In the beginning, yes, you should focus all of your effort on getting clients, but look, also have downsells. For some clients, maybe it's their fault. Maybe they literally just aren't good at sales. Hello? I love you. And sure, it has nothing to do with you, but as the business owner, you can let them go and you could just have, you could go from your monthly retainer of 1,500, 2,000 a month to zero, or you can offer something like appointment booking. Now, I love this service. If you're setting up ads for your client, I'm talking SMMA, you're doing Facebook ads, Instagram ads, you probably know the hardest part is the initial setup, right? It's getting access to their ad account, it's creating the ad images, it's creating the ad copy, it's creating all of this stuff that is really quite difficult. Once you get it running and once you kind of figure it out, you just do more of what works. So when a client wants to leave, let's say hypothetically, client is churning and they want to leave in about three months. Now, instead of you just letting them go or trying to convince them to stay for another month because it'll get better, you can do a couple different things, okay? You can offer them a month for free to give them more time to close sales, to justify, right, the payment that they're sending you. Or what I like to do is just pivot and switch into a pay per booked appointment model. So now instead of your ad spend, you just keep what's working well. Keep on running the ads that you currently have, but obviously make them better. You can even switch your funnel a little bit. When you're using Go High Level, you can see leads that come in, leads that respond, and then you can also see leads that book an appointment and then clients that are closed, okay? At least if you set up the funnel the way that I like to set it up and using my imports and my links, then you're gonna be able to see all of these metrics. And this is super important because now you can pivot to a spot where you can charge $150 as an example per booked appointment. Now, of course, it depends on the niche and the industry, however, if your client is in like the high ticket space, then easily $100, $150, $200 should be just fine. So look, even out of your leads, let's say you get them 20 leads, but they book 10 appointments, that's $1,000 for that month, right? Now I know it's probably not as good as your service fee, your monthly service fee, however, it's still better than zero. From my experience, clients are extremely open to doing a paper booked appointment. And in fact, they're gonna be very happy that you are willing and that you are ready to work with them to make sure it fits them and they really do appreciate it. Sometimes I'll just give them a free month. Hey, let's run this for free for one month because if I could tell they're on the verge, right? They have, literally they have leads in the pipeline and they're just so close to converting one. Let's do a month for free. And a lot of times they close some clients and then it gains their confidence and then they're ready to continue paying it, okay? Now, other times, we'll just switch to a paper booked appointment. In fact, we had one client that was ready to cancel, I think it was after like four or five months or so, and he just got booked out. So the thing with my industry and my niche is that these guys do get booked out, and sometimes it's a little bit too much action, it's a little bit too much work, and they, they kind of wanna, wanna take a break because it's all, it's, you know, it's very manual labor. Now for him, what we decided to do was switch to a pay per booked appointment model and also decrease the ad spend a little bit so that way he's not as busy. And we were still getting him, it was roughly around 10 appointments per month. So it was around $1,000. At that point, I was doing $100 per booked appointment. This was like a year ago or so, maybe a little bit more and he was very happy with that model because he could decrease the ad spend and I'm sure that meant that we were getting paid less. However, he was happy and he would increase it from 1,000 to 1,500 to another month he would do 500. Now this is a pay per performance 
model, so it's not ideal, but still, instead of us getting paid zero dollars, now we're getting paid a thousand dollars a month, right? Twelve hundred dollars a month, sometimes eight hundred dollars a month, and so forth. And if you have a full time media buyer, it makes perfect sense. It's all done, it's all built. And if you have someone working for you full time, it's not like you have to pay more for this extra client. And look, even if you're using a contractor and, and you're paying them two hundred and fifty a month or five hundred dollars per month, it still is worth it. I would just say have a minimum ad spend, right? So we had no minimum, but just have a minimum of maybe a thousand a month or whatever you want. And then just get paid per booked appointment. Another downsell that you can have is just having go high level. So maybe you're generating them a lot of leads and the ads are doing well. Maybe it's too much, but for whatever reason they want to cancel. However, your go high level package, and if you do it correctly, you should be integrating this with everything that they have. Now, I know you run an SMMA company, but something I like to preach is SWAS, which is software with a service. And what that means is take this software, again, software is go high level, take go high level and integrate it with everything. Add the live chat, add the website form. And so now, even though they want to pause your services, they can still keep go high level and keep paying $300 per month and you have that client. It's all done, it's all set up. I understand it's not your you know thousands of dollars every single month, but it's still amazing because this stuff adds up. So over the course of a year, if you get enough of these clients, you can have a full-time income just off of these little down sales that you have. And now the cool thing is, is your lifetime value per client, right? Per customer goes up so much and your client retention is so amazing that you end up profiting way more because instead of zero dollars, you just take what you already have set up and continue profiting from that. And look, a lot of times, right? So we're just doing a go high level down sale. So let's say they're paying us 300 bucks a month for go high level. What I've actually seen is then six months later, seven months later, they just send me an email, they text me, they contact me and they tell me they're ready for ads again. And so now you also continue that relationship. And even if you're not charging 300 a month, maybe you're charging 200 or 100. Now I teach and I show how to charge 300. That is, that is my baseline. But even if you're charging less, still keep ties with the client, keep ties with them because in the future, when they're ready, guess who they're going to be contacting you and you are going to be that expert and they will remember the goodwill that you had, right? Instead of pushing them and trying to hard close them into, Hey, do ads every single month they now understand that you are like their partner in their business, not really a partner, but you're, you have their best interests and best intentions at heart. And if you set up high level the right way, you genuinely are adding a lot of value and you're saving them a lot of time. And now they really like you. It's kind of insane that more people don't do this and don't have down sell offers to their clients. I used to be all about just having one package and this is all that we do, just this one thing. And that's great, but I'm telling you, I missed out on thousands of dollars per month. So don't be like me, offer this to your clients. This is exactly what I do now. And literally, even if I lost all of my SMMA clients, I would still be making a very, very good income just from all the down sales that I have. So if these clients are going to turn, turn them into long-term clients and they will come back to you for ad services if they need it. And even if not, just help them in their business and be their internet guy that helps them with automations, you know, helps them with automatic responses and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love.